Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how we can design font different shadows. Let's say you would have seen neomorphic shadows, normal shadows, drop shadows, layered shadows. So what kind of ratios have been used to differentiate all those? Let's see all of them in this video. Let's get into that. So here I have two examples of shadows. Let's see. These are neomorphic shadows where you will be having inner shadows and drop shadows and outer layer shadows and everything. So we have to play with few things to come up with this kind of shadows. And these are soft shadows that we usually use in art designs. So um, I think you would have seen in few of the applications called like Cred where you can be able to find this inner shadows and uh, neomorphic shadows. And these are the soft shadows that most of all other applications would be using this. So let's see what are the ratio levels that we can give to come up with the proper shadow levels. So here I have different levels of soft shadows. The first one with less and the last one with more. So let me show you the drop shadow ratio levels that we have to use to come up with a single drop shadow output. Let me draw a square or rectangle with your wish. Let's make the fill color a bit white. Okay, so that you know the difference between the, the output and i'm giving the ratio sorry i'm giving the corners of around maybe 20 or something and now i'm gonna add effects in the effects automatically the ratio levels will come up but it will be a bit dark because uh, the level is in pure black and it is 25 percentage so the i'll tell the ratio level now so we have to add two types of ratios one should be in this ratio, 0, x-axis 0, y-axis 2, glut 4 and don't use the whole black, you can use this one, 101010 10, 10, to get a proper output. And mostly all of the screens you can use the same color and have this as 12, you can have the spread as minus 2, okay? So this is the first drop shadow and the second one, you can have them as 0, 4, 4, same minus 2 and this one is 0 and this one is 8 percent. So you will have the mild shadow. Shadows will be there but it won't be abruptly visible. So it will be nice and clean. And you can gradually increase these things to come up with a darker shade of shadows. Let me show you. Let's say I'm going to gradually increase this as 4 and this one as 8, this one as maybe minus 4 and this one as 16 or 20. So my shadows got increased. Similarly, I have to increase this one as well. 8, 16, minus 4 60 so my shadow got increased similar way you have to gradually increase these levels uh, to get a proper outer layer of shadows and this is the larger the most one let me if you want a great spread let's say here we have a lot of spread in that case you have to increase the spread levels 20 40 remaining 6 B sorry just a minute minus minus 20 x axis can give something like this so this is how we can create different types of shadows and uh, you have to gradually increase or decrease or you can alter the things of x and y axis based on which shade types of shade you need. So it should be a down shade or a up shade or a side or left or right shades. Now let's start with the neomorphic designs. So I have given the drop shadow ratios here. Let me show you how we can implement the same. So I'm going to draw a square with uh, maybe 60 percentage in the corners and add an effect so in the first drop shadow what you can do is you have to give the x-axis as minus 30 and y-axis is minus 20 and blur as 30 spread as 0 as always and 
give this in deaths and this one has 100 percentage and before that i want you to change this color i forward to that you can maybe always choose the colors of gray or blue in the blue sheets so let me choose something like this okay same as the background so that will enhance what you are going to do as the shadows and let me add one more thing so where i'll be giving the x-axis is 30 and y-axis is 20 blur as 30 blur as 0 and give this color in here as 100% now you can be able to get the proper pneumorphic output of shadows and another one if you want to uh, create maybe the inner shadow of it what you can do is you have to give the inner shadow change this directly to inner shadow and then you will be having the same result of this and let's say if I want to implement the same in different shapes let me draw a star and change the corners to 40 no 40 is so bad let me try 20 okay change this color to this and what I'm gonna do now is copy properties paste it here I think the corners also placed maybe I can change the corners now so you can be able to implement the same save this uh, ratios and this ratios to get a proper output of shadows maybe it can be either soft it can be the pneumorphic you can implement the same for whatever it can be you can just uh, adjust a few x-axis and y-axis to get different uh, shades of having it on the right or left or bottom or, or top so that is your wish and let me copy this properties and paste it here change this to 20 so that's how I can be able to replicate the uh, ratio levels to other information I mean other types of this is how you can use the neomorphic shadows in designs and this is how you can use the drop shadows as well like in case if you are interested to use you can use the drop shadows like this these are the black shades of neomorphic shadows I hope you found this video helpful I wanted to share one more thing which I recently saw in my email that one of my cup paper has and the book that he has recently launched. This made me so happy and really wanted to appreciate his efforts. I'm sharing the book link in the description. You can also check on it if you are interested. Thank you so much. I'll meet you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.